Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials here today with another, well, with an itchy nose. And a Track Central creative feature for, I, no, I want to say Hess92, he's 92, I, I have never been able to say this one, I've, I've never had, heard anyone say it, so I don't know if it's right or wrong. Anyway, um, this track creator has been probably the longest, they've been on my list of things to feature for the longest amount of time and I've never got around to it. Um, I believe also had a track in the Red Link's first All-Stars DLC, I could be wrong but I back of my mind I'm thinking that happened. Anyway, I've not played many of the, I don't even remember playing that one, but um, I'm just going to cruise through and play a bunch of, they look at all the hard medium stuff, which is really interesting because there's just so many good creators that I guess want to try and create injury, extreme, more difficult stuff, so it's actually good that I'm hoping a lot more of these, oh hang on, no, no, um, I don't want to do skill games yet, I want to do tracks. Um, I think it's really cool to see uh, track creators building good tracks, medium, hard difficulty, etc. Uh, let's though, oh come, yeah, cool. Let's go into Metropolis. Let's start there. Oh, look at look at those look at those thumbs up. Three thousand seven hundred and fifty-three. I don't know. What, I don't know what. It must be. That must be on the top rated or something. Anyway, uh, I'm. Without seeing anything confident, these are going to be really nice looking tracks. They're going to ride well, they're just going to be good detail, and uh, I'm going to enjoy this. Stop notifications! Whoa! Oh! That's not what would happen if a train hit your back. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, I can't see I can't see where the driving line is. Down over oh up at oh ow. Wow, okay. Gee, this is this is cool. That's the only thing with the black and white design. Oh, see, just those little details. I mean, that that didn't need to happen, but I'm so glad it did. I wonder if I go slower here onto the glass, I go through it. No, that's that's nice. Yeah, I was gonna say with the black and white uh, look here. I am. There's a couple of spots where I've struggled to see the driving line. So that's probably the only criticism. I mean, yeah, who, who am I to criticize a talented track creator? I mean, the, this is, uh, and it looks like a fun line. And I think that must be what, why I've heard so many good things about him. It's just because, I mean, again, I, I, I never do these things justice, but I just want to just show the tracks and show people, mention track creators and just give them a bit of airtime and hopefully people just go and look them up because I do want, I guess I want track creators to have a reputation for quality and by them building up that reputation they can... Fox Bat? Anyway. Roar Boy Borealis, let's go. Um, yeah, I think I think by having, by having track creators that have a reputation and are known within the community it means that when they release new, if more people follow them, then more people will see their tracks and you gradually filter. It, it, it's, it's a really good way to quickly get to a track you know is going to be high quality. I mean, you know, a track central can be at times hit and miss. Having that list of really good track creators that you just know you can rely on those guys. And I think this is where the, the voting system helps to a certain extent. Uh, the Uplay recommends, the um, yeah, top rated, all those type of things really help filter some of that stuff. But I think if the community people actually know I didn't do anything there, did I? If the community people know who the good track creators are, it can only help. And, and, the more recognition track creators get, the more effort and the more time they're likely to put in um, to build tracks for you guys. And for me and for everybody. So, show them some love whenever you get the chance. Okay, what? No, hold on, what's that in the background? They're like jars of glowing stuff with like weather balloons on them. Wow, I didn't, okay, so so the trees, I think that's the part that's throwing me off. The, the trees are becoming part of the driving line. 
This feels like a, I don't want to say it's a road track, but it, just feels, but it feels like I should be running it a lot faster. And okay, so every time I run over those sections, it's actually highlighting to me that that section's going to move and sort of disappear at tree driving line again. Yeah, I think, I think, I think this, I mean, oh wow, upside, upside down finish. Um, yeah, I can see that just being a really fun, fast track, and that's the thing, I mean, I, I like the technical, technicalities of the extremes and all the, the, uh, you know, wobbling around on the bike, but I know there are a lot of people that really enjoy just good, good quality, fast tracks. Um, I always also look for these TTJ2C prefixes because this is for uh, the track jam trials track track jam 2 competition i think that stands for um the reason why that's good is because these are all competition entries by already established riders a lot of the time you'll tend to find that um these are you know some of their better work as well so you know they're, they're usually going to be top quality they're putting a little bit of extra effort because they're for a track building competition whoa whoa that's that's uh okay so i try and go over the top and it falls down look the, again the lighting on this is i don't know if it i mean look it, oh wow so this is okay so this is like oh. i wish i wish it was more light like i i i love the like the atmospheric design of these things is something that I really think is imp Oh wow, so I can't drive there. It, I know it's adding to the challenge. What a bunny. No, I do have to wait. Oh, that hits a ball. You're kidding me. See, this is the thing. I think, I feel like that... That didn't, uh... That, that, like, it was like a bowling ball that ran across the track there. I don't even know if you could see that. This is a awesome track. I just I wish I could see it better because I just I think it's the type of thing I'd want to in a more well lit environment. I think I'd like to see this. And the atmosphere, the atmosphere is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I feel, and I feel bad, like this isn't criticism, just like, yeah, whatever, it's, it's commentary, you take it for what it's worth. Or, or, or don't take it or even acknowledge it, fine by me. Um, but yeah, I just think it's just some of these obstacles I'm just struggling to see. Like for instance here at the moment. Doorway. <sighs> Don't tell me there's a hidden squirrel. There's a hidden teddy bear? It's still cool. It's still cool, but um, yeah, I think that the lighting of that just threw me a little bit. Alright, let's find one more. Well, how long? Only eight minutes. Come on, we'll give him some more time than that. Uh, let's go to skill game. Oh no, hang on. Sorry. Let me find a supercross. Yeah, let's go one of the skill let's go the skill game. But you can see I guess the the attention to detail, the attention to lighting, to atmosphere, to um, the 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 physics, the sound effects, the animation all of those little things that you can really tell the difference between a creator of someone who just builds like quite flat two-dimensional static tracks and someone that builds in all of this depth and while it's not necessary for a good driving track it does oh i have seen this one i feel like i've raced this what was that a record <laughs> How? How? 
Oh my gosh, I did it backwards. Okay, idiot. Wow, okay. I have done this before. It's not a challenge. It's not a challenge to see how quickly you can pass the obstacle. It's a challenge. Endo. See, I don't read. It's a challenge to see how long you can endo for. Alright. I don't want to keep updating my records. Alright. I'll try and get a good time. I'm certainly not the endo king here, but... It's a, it's a very cool skill game if you want to practice your endos in particular. Well, probably only if you want to practice your endos. If you want to practice wheelie, I wouldn't suggest it. It's 4-2. What was it, 4-5 for gold? Let's go 4-5, you reckon? Or is that actually a really boring video? That's probably a boring video. Alright, let's do one more track for this guy. 11 minutes in, yeah. That's cool though. Um, I, I actually liked that once I figured out what the hell I was doing. Let's go Zapper. Use your Zapper to get all the targets. Ten of them, apparently. Um, yeah, this is this has been a uh, an interesting series of tracks, different and I think it matters. Um, different to some of the stuff I've been seeing. So I will absolutely give respect where it's due. The um, yeah, like I said, lighting and atmosphere and everything's cool. Uh, press that whole triangle or Y to use your Zapper. What? What just happened? What just happened? How do I... I can't... I Is it swinging? Wow... Okay, so that's... Okay, so I'm in amongst that... Okay, sorry, it's taking me a second to figure this out. creative skill oh and actually that's a really creative skill game I stuffed that one up I'm not sure what the strategy is here probably that Damn it. Damn it. That was an awesome run. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to finish on that because I think that's a high note for for a concept that I didn't get and it's taken me a moment for it to actually sink in. That's actually a really unique looking skill game. I mean, it it, it goes back to, I guess, some of the... Uh, the the jung Jungle Gymkhana, I think it was, had a uh, challenge where you use the swings and I think even in Trials Evo they might have had one of those swing-based... Um, skill games but the 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 concept of the zapper uh, to, to add to that element and that and instead of being a progression that's one of the things that i noticed about that instead of it being a progression where you go from left to right platformer style this was actually forcing you to sort of stay and find creative ways to work within a very fixed area very very cool uh, like i said that's just uh, i heard a lot about this track created just because of uh oh i guess because of this reputation of putting out you know some quality stuff but just interesting different stuff so yeah, um, highly recommend to go and check out some of the other tracks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Hest92 and all of the other track creators, thank you very much for your contribution to the trials community. And uh, yeah, I'll keep making more vids. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any more uh, requests. Cheers. Thanks.